Hello and welcome to my vlog. Today, we'll be comparing immigration to the United States and Canada, specifically in terms of healthcare, schools for kids, real estate prices, cost of living, and social security pension. Healthcare. When it comes to healthcare, Canada has a publicly funded system which means that all residents have access to medical services at no cost. However, non-emergency procedures can have long wait times. In the United States, healthcare is primarily provided through private insurance companies. While this allows for more options, many Americans face high healthcare costs. Schools for Kids Both Canada and the United States have excellent schools for children, with a wide range of educational options. Public education is free for all residents in Canada, while in the United States, public education is free up until high school. Both countries also have private schools available for those who can afford them. Real Estate Prices Real estate prices in Canada tend to be higher than in the United States, especially in major cities like Toronto and Vancouver. However, there are many affordable options available in smaller towns and rural areas. In the United States, real estate prices can vary widely depending on the location, with major cities like New York and San Francisco being particularly expensive. Cost of Living Overall, the cost of living is similar between Canada and the United States. However, certain expenses like health care and higher education tend to be lower in Canada. In the United States, the cost of living can vary widely depending on the location, with major cities being more expensive than rural areas. Social Security Pension in Canada, the equivalent of the U.S. Social Security Program is called the Canada Pension Plan CPP. Like Social Security, the CPP is a public pension program that provides retirement, disability, and survivor benefits. The amount of benefits received is based on the amount of contributions made over an individual's working life. In the United States, Social Security is also a public pension program that provides retirement, disability, and survivor benefits. The amount of benefits received is based on the amount of contributions made over an individual's working life. So, which country should you choose? It ultimately depends on your preferences and priorities. If you prioritize free health care and education, Canada might be the better choice for you. However, if you're looking for a wider range of health care options and a lower cost of living in some areas, the United States might be the better choice. When it comes to real estate, both countries have their pros and cons. While real estate prices in Canada tend to be higher, there are more affordable options available in rural areas. In the United States, real estate prices can vary widely depending on the location, with some areas being more expensive than others. Lastly, when it comes to retirement benefits, both countries have public pension programs that provide retirement, disability, and survivor benefits. However, the amount of benefits received depends on the amount of contributions made over an individual's working life. In conclusion, both Canada and the United States have their advantages and disadvantages when it comes to healthcare, schools for kids, real estate prices, cost of living, and social security pension. It's important to weigh your options carefully before making a decision on where to immigrate. However, generally speaking, Canada has more lenient immigration policies compared to the United States, which may make it easier for some individuals to obtain study visas or non-immigrant visas. 
If you are a professional such as an engineer, doctor, CPA, or teacher in your home country, it's important to note that obtaining a similar job in Canada can be a challenging process. The Canadian immigration system has different procedures in place for professionals, which must be followed carefully in order to secure employment. In contrast, the United States tends to place more emphasis on work experience than foreign education when considering candidates for professional positions. Thanks again for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. And be sure to watch out for my next video, where we'll be discussing more interesting and relevant topics. Thanks for your support.